There's a lot of misconceptions about the intervertebral disc of the spine. I thought I'd like to do a video regarding that today. First of all, the disc has always been thought as a shock absorber of the spine. Not true. It actually has a lot of water inside, so you can't compress water. This disc is the center is a gelatinous material and it's surrounded by fibers that contain it inside. So it acts like a little ball bearing that the spine can move around. The problem is, is when you have abnormal motion of the spine or abnormal curves of the spine, it starts breaking this disc down. And so what happens is it starts tearing these fibers around the disc and they continue to tear until now you have this radial tear where this jelly and gelatinous material can start pushing out. As you can see here, it's being pushed out, out between these discs. And from there, it can impinge on that nerve. Now, most people who have discs feel that it's an automatic surgical case. That's not true. There are procedures that you can take this disc and pull that back towards the center. And we do that here. It's called spinal decompression. And what it does is it targets the exact area of that disc, pulling it apart. So you're actually literally sucking that disc material back towards the center. And then by correcting the spine structure, as well as the motion, this tissue can start healing. Most of the nutrition that comes to a disc actually comes from the vertebrae above and below. That's why motion is absolutely important. And that's basically what happens. My name is Dr. Charles Arndt. I've been in practice for nearly 30 years. I'd like to personally invite you to my office for a free consultation, no strings attached, so I can find out if I can help you. What's the next step? Click the link below. We'll see you soon.